A year and a half after the devastating Marshall Fire, more than 150 insurance companies are now suing XL Energy. They're demanding the utility pay for settlements paid out to fire victims. Rob Harris live in Louisville tonight. Rob, this is a significant chapter here in the efforts to rebuild up there. Yeah, Shannon, 155 different insurance companies all coming together in this lawsuit claiming that it was Excel's negligence behind the Marshall Fire and the damages it caused. And this lawsuit is just the latest in a series of lawsuits that have been piling up against the company. I can confidently say that we know what happened and why. That's the Boulder County Sheriff last month releasing the findings of the department's investigation into the causes of the Marshall Fire. The department concluded it began as two separate fires. The first likely sparked by a religious group's buried fire from a week before, and the second from a disconnected Xcel Energy power line. The two fires became one at some point. Xcel said in June it strongly disagreed with that conclusion. The Boulder County District Attorney said no criminal charges would be filed, but lawsuits were quick to come. There's going to be thousands and thousands of people that are filing lawsuits against Excel. Benjamin Pettiprin is one of the lawyers representing a growing number of homeowners in a mass action lawsuit against Excel. His firm represented 24 homeowners when they initially sued in early June. He says over 100 more have joined since then. Everyone is upset against Excel Energy. They're upset that this happened. Um, I think that the report in a lot of ways was cathartic for a lot of the community because they finally could say, OK, this wasn't just some random thing that happened. It wasn't an act of God, there was an actual cause, and the cause is, you know, the people that provide electricity to you. Pettiprin welcomes this latest lawsuit filed by 155 insurance companies. The fact that they're filing a lawsuit is indicative of the fact that their own independent evidence has shown that there's liability on behalf of Excel Energy. Pettiprin's firm is asking a judge this week to consolidate all the lawsuits related to the fire into one courthouse before one judge. The hope being they're able to reach a settlement that will help their clients heal and rebuild. All of the survivors of the fire are going to band together and they're going to come after them to get what they are deserved and what are owed in this case. Now, Pettiprin expects the lawsuit against XL to continue to grow in the months ahead. He tells me that the statute of limitations on cases of alleged negligence, like this case, is two years. So that would put us in December of this year. Ann? All right, Rob, thank you. And Denver 7 reached out to a spokesperson for XL Energy for comment. We were referred to the company statement from back in June saying it strongly disagrees with the conclusion that its power lines caused the second ignition in that Marshall fire.